So hello and welcome very much to a new Schnittlabor soundcheck video. Today it's about a, a tuner, donor or donor DT4. You can tune your different string instruments uh, with it, like for example a guitar. How this tuning with guitar is functioning I will also show you towards uh, the end of this video, so please stay tuned if you want to see it. But first, in general, I want to explain you this machine. It's not so spectacular. Here, in the end, it has a little kind of a ring a magnet. On the right side, there is uh, two buttons, like up and down. And on the other side, you have three buttons, a play button, uh, one button to change between tuner and rhythm section. And here you can do some special selections for the tuning modes. Also, what comes with uh, this tool, which helps you to attach uh, to your instrument, it has uh, this little stick here, which comes out and on top is like a metal ball. You can move this stick in different directions. It's quite stable, actually. And this metal ball connects uh, to the to the mag ring magnet here in the end. This kind of little tool, tuning tool, is quite uh, flexible in terms of angles and uh, how it works, I'm going to show you right now. We will switch it on using the top button here. Just press for a little moment. And this is already the tuning uh, section. It would be active now uh, as soon as the tuner is connected with this thing here to any kind of instrument. The main uh, tuning is 432 Hz. I like this frequency. The standard would be 440, but in this case, I prefer 432 as the leading frequency for tuning. If you press the top button here once, it means you will enter some kind of sound generator mode. So basically you can tune it uh, using your own ears by the comparison between the sound generated by this machine and the instrument. So I will show you the range of this. We are here at G4. I will go up maximum. No, it's A6 and then we go down to A2. A2 is the lowest sound and from there we go back to our G. Sorry, this was one octave too high. So this is the G which we had in the beginning. Another thing you can do with this button here is changing between the different tuning presets. So by clicking here, this is now the standard chromatic tuner. Then here, the standard set for a guitar with six strings. It starts with an E and then uh, A and so forth. If you know a little bit about playing a guitar, you should also know how to tune it, basically. And so you have a preset for this one. Then next one would be for the bass, uh, tu for tuning a bass with uh, four strings. This one would be for tuning an ukulele. This uh, U here, maybe I get a little bit closer so that you see better. Next one is for tuning a violin. And the next one here in the down corner to the right, it's for a banjo. So, but I usually just tune the instruments in C, so I don't uh, need any of those presets. If you press and hold this button in the middle, then you enter a beat mode, four beats per one section. And uh, this is now being played at 80 beats per minute. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, if you want to have this faster, you can up the speed, for example, like this. It would be, of course, faster. Or you can also change the rhythm. This is one uh, quarter note. 
I don't know how it's called precisely in English, and this would be the, an eighth uh, of a note. Uh, in German, we call it Achtel Note. Anyway, so if you play it, it sounds like this. So you still have the basic beat of one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, and so forth. So you have also some kind of other different rhythms like so. So this would be the 16th, uh, for example. But the basic structure of this section is more or less clear, I guess, now. And uh, I will now come to the guitar tuning to show you how to tune a guitar with it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I already connected the connector to the guitar, as you can see here. I hope the focus is going to understand what we want to do. So basically, it's just really clicking it at the wood of a guitar, if you want to tune a guitar. And then you take this, this tuning tool and connect it. And what else to do is left is just switching it on, basically. So here you see the piece, and if I play one string, for I, I tune the guitar as I said already to 432 hertz, it sounds like this. And we understand we are a little bit too low. So I, I will go a little bit higher to find the right tune. The different uh, possibility would be to generate a sound if I just press this once. This is G, for example, but I should go to E and then I can just listen. So maybe it fits. Let's check. Yeah, we are quite uh, close to it one millimeter higher but what you can actually do with the E string is always tune it a little bit more deep comparing to the other strings because the string itself here as you can see it is thicker comparing to the other strings and that's why the angles are being changed you can do the same thing also with the fourth string from the top because it's also a little bit thicker than the others. But uh, let's get back to tuning the other strings now. This is already right on. D. So this is chromatic mode, yeah. G is a little bit too high. We can also put it a little bit more down as we did the same also with the E string. And then it sounds like quite all right. So, just for the fun of it, I will also play a little rhythm here as a metronome for exercises, something like that. One, two, three, four. So I hope you kind of understand the principle of this little machine. I hope it was useful for you. 
see you in the next video. Please don't forget to follow and like our Schnittlabor stuff. Bye bye.